I'm Raymond Farconi. <laughs> I'm Demetrius Johnson. <laughs> Actually, I'm Aaron Behrens, and this is Thomas Turner, and we are Ghostly Observatory. An ad in the Austin Chronicle. Shooting in the dark, you searching were for black love. Pants. <laughs> you put your hand in my back pocket. Yeah. It says later. <laughs> call me, love, Raymond. Call me. Call me. <laughs> We're at the Moog Fest, obviously. Bob Moog. You guys use Moog synthesizers? Yeah, I have two. And uh, some Moog pedals. You've seen the new stuff that I've had. Yeah, that's what I was messing with earlier in there. I really like that. It doesn't, it's no, there's no determining factor in it, man. It's just like you gotta get in there and just start, you know playing with your toys and seeing what happens. I mean, sometimes it can come like that. Sometimes you leave the place feeling depressed. There's no time frame. There's no such thing as time when you're creating music. It's, it either happens or doesn't. We were doing a, a big show in Austin and uh, wanted to bump up the production. So on the internet, we would laser show. <laughs> Lightwave International popped up. The owner, George, was in Dallas. He's like, man, we're in a really desperate situation. Can you help us out? He drove down there, did the show, and then he liked our show and liked us. And so we started touring with the lasers, and now we just tour with them all the time. It was really cool. Well, we went from Florida to Anchorage, Alaska, and then back to New Orleans. That so, was just like in three or four days. Yeah. You can imagine the rest of it. Any uh, stories crazier than being mistaken for a bunk ex dealer? <laughs> That's about as freaking funny as it gets. Yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. He heard stories that Raymond. I heard stories. Like, I was talking to a kid down in New Orleans at the sugar mill, and he was trying to convince me that Thomas is Raymond. And I was like, well, what is the what is the whole thing? And he said, Raymond is out there selling bunk drugs to kids. He is not Raymond. His name is not Raymond. When they come at me, there's no talking about it's it. It's all about, it's about, it's like, it's hey, you want to do this now? <laughs> yeah. I either tell Bug Wolf or uh, Alex or Sound Or Dookie. Dookie. Yeah, Dookie. He, had, he got cornrows. But I'm like, dude, just roll out there with me just in case, you know? When someone asks you if you want to do drugs, what do you tell them? Drugs work. They're not Raymond's drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It's too, too many high frequencies. <laughs> Turn it down. Because you, when, you, when, the, when you dial it back down into that zone, like the wave goes slower, you know, <laughs> more spread out. Being a high frequency, it's all jagged and crazy. Yeah, we don't want that. We want to mellow it out. <laughs> Get the thing. Oh. Back over. Turn it back a little. Maybe maybe Moog should come up with a catalog. It's like like it has its Moog stuff like inside of the sound. So when you're turning on the engine and you can like frequentize the engine sound. Yeah. <laughs> so that sounds crazy when you're driving down the road. You're like, oh shit, here comes Thomas and his his, his Mogulak. <laughs>